So you'd like to find out how to use the RDS. RDS is an amazing tool to get started with dropshipping, marketplacing, and so much more. So if you don't know absolutely anything about RDS, you are directly into the right place. So get started here and focused into RDS. Now RDS is an amazing tool if you don't know what exactly it is. RDS is an actual section where you can just get started to making dropshipping with a very easy, easy way making the product research system and telling us which are the products that can be selled in a very easy way and we don't have to do absolutely anything we can import products in a very easy way including all the variation all the images the title the prices absolutely anything you can even use the artificial intelligence to optimize your product and look out a little bit different than the competition and lastly we can make fulfillment of the actual orders we can track updates returns and all the information about the buyer account. The best thing about the RDS is that the price are actually low and you can stock monitor all the products you're actually selling. So how does the actual DS works and what are the actual review? I can tell you that RDS is an amazing tool for people who want to get started into selling into Shopify. Facebook, Etsy, Amazon, and eBay. Now, it might be a little bit different using RDS. For instance, what I can tell you is that the actual current prices are a little bit higher than I expected. Now, nobody uses RDS because of the highly uh, unrecommended prices. They are not affordable. I must tell you this one actually is not affordable. So if I go directly here into sign up, for example, and tells you how would you like to sell on. So depending on what is the actual platform that you choose to sell, it's going to be giving you elements that can be helping you to track the conversion, sales, and of course the element that you choose. Now the issue here, for instance, is that if I choose, for example, let's say Etsy, it's going to be giving me templates or elements that can be helping me to drive some sales only and only directly here into Etsy. If I would like to add another store or to change some store, change an actual platform from Etsy into Shopify, well, the issue is that we that we paid for the actual access for Etsy and only into Etsy. That means that in order to change from one platform into another one, what we need to do is to cancel our actual currently plan that we have in order to pay for another plan that we actually currently have. So in this case, for example, we are using the actual RDS to sell stuff directly here into eBay. So as you can see here, we have an actual product, we have an actual store into eBay. I can add another store and to add another store, I can only add eBay stores for free directly inside my current plan. If I wanted to add a new plan, if I want to add a new marketplace, I needed to get a new plan and pay, of course, for that specific plan, for that specific new section con of this application. Now, something that I truly loved about this actual RDS is all the actual elements that can help you to, let's say, for example, drive some sales directly inside your store. If you're willing to actively, of course, get started to selling products inside RDS and to show some really great selling products, the actual RDS is going to be telling you what are the products that are commonly being sold by category, by the trending elements and updosed and much more elements, which I think is going to be really great for people who want to get started and driving some actually quick and easy sales inside the actual platform that they currently chose. Now, another element that is actually really great, but I think it's a little con, is that we have more, for example, the TikTok spy. Now, the TikTok spy is going to be helping us to browse through all the TikTok ads to find the most popular dropshipping products to sell into the store and purchasing the product finding hub add-on. So, this element, of course, is an actual element that we needed to buy and cost us $7. The same thing happens for the trending products and the hand-picked products. So for example, these elements are helping you to toolkit to, let's say for example, having profit from up and coming best-selling career through our real-time TikTok market analytics. But once again, if I pay for this trending product, it's not going to be available into some other store. So you need to be sure where you're actually currently going to be selling. And once you actually select the element you want to get started with, moved on and choose the right package for you. Now, as you can see, the last thing is the actual pricing. The pricing, for example, here is $19 per month. This one costs for a basic automation features. You have the startup plan, which is going to be helping you to drop shipping automation for beginners creating an actual store and giving you up to 500 products to add it directly into your store. 
So once again, the price is, let's say, affordable if you are actually having strong sales directly into your store. If you're not, I believe like the best solution for you is to try it out the actual version where you currently have limitations. For example, here I have the product imported of 200 products, but here I can see the price and the stock monitor. I have the product research tool, the track manager, order management, uh, smart filter system, supported suppliers, AI smart edit, and so much more elements. So if you're just getting started here into AutoDS, you might want to try it with the current plans here into AutoDS. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached to the very end of the video, but don't forget to like it, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools how to get started here into AutoDS, eBay, Shopify, and much more elements. So, thank you so much for watching the video guys, hopefully with all of that being said, we can see you to a brand new section of TechRest. See you next time.